In the iceberg is the former governor of the Aquos Nation, Iza Ishihara. He is the reincarnation of the dark sun goddess Selene and was married to Yami Ishihara. Oh yes, I recall Yami. She was the former queen of the Shade Nation before she disappeared. But how do you know this? Do you remember the Auschwitz Fortress? How could I not? The previous governor of this nation I used it to enslave those who didn't meet his ideology or were weak, and it was destroyed 15 years ago, thank fuck, in an attack by the Heroes Association. I bring that up because Yami and Izzy used that fortress to imprison my other classmates and friends. So that would explain the attack on the fortress. Very well, I believe that. However, explain the iceberg near our borders. I was told that was a piece of land broken off from the Shade Nation. Zeus eventually told me and the other members of the association that after the students were freed, the association and King Shiro launched an assault on the Shade Nation, and Shiro froze Iza in that iceberg to win the fight. As for Yami, she was defeated by Zeus and went into hiding. Well, well, I can believe that, especially since Yami was replaced by a new leader. After all, they opened up borders with us despite our nations hating each other, and they agreed to be a better governor than I after the nation is destroyed. Are you sure that the Shade Nation is willing to accept them in without any caveat? So you also share the same opinion as that guy who tried to contact me a while back to tell me not to send my citizens over there. Listen, David, I know you have a nasty experience with the Shade Nation, but how can I trust you? <sighs> what the hell? Huh? Well, what is it? David wants to file some her scouting mission to the CIA nation a year ago. But I didn't hear- Ah! Uh, uh, well, son, it's that! Right! That was weird. But if you have nothing else to say, then let's fu- I got the files from a scouting trip to the Shea nation last year! You want the proof? I'll give you it! Very well. Let's take a look. No, this isn't true. This has to be a fake. It's real. This was from a period where there was rioting in the streets, and Yami allowed it. She's alive, sir! The same woman who enslaved us is running that fucking country! But I thought the voice was di No, I'm setting my citizens into a trap! That's right. If you don't pull back now, your citizens will be in a worse place! Alright. Right. Captains, this is Silsodomus. Retreat from the Shea Nation and redirect to the Aquas Nation immediately. That's an order! Yes, sir! Very well. You stopped me from ordering my citizens into a trap. However, how can you stop me from destroying the nation? With one question. Why do you want to destroy the nation? Because after the revolution, I lost almost everything. My family, my wife's family, a good majority of my citizens, and my daughter, my pride and joy. But I pushed that aside temporarily because my citizens needed a leader to pull them through that mess. But once that was done, the pain never went away. My wife and I tried numerous times to have another kid, but it never worked out. The pain of losing my child was too much for either of us, it seemed. I had hoped that my marriage to Helix would end the hatred between the Darkfire and Fire God nations. I had hoped that I would one day walk my daughter down the aisle on a wedding day. And then it all came crashing down. The revolution happened because of Helix's family not being happy with my marriage to the daughter, and I feel responsible for everything. As such, my wife and I realized that there was no means to end the rivalry through peaceful means. 
so I agreed on a solution. To end the rivalry once and for all. I would purge this nation and the reincarnation of the dark fire and fire gods in one fell swoop. That way, no one would ever again be hurt by our clan. You claim you can convince me? Well, answer me this then. How can you convince the man who started the revolution and by extension killed your sister? Because eventually we have to move forward. It hurt to lose Margaret, but I had to accept her death in order to feel happy again. And when I found out she was alive and good again thanks to my wife, I was overjoyed. It sucks to lose someone, but we had to put that aside in order to become better people. Your solution is to give up and die, and I don't think you would ever teach your daughter to do that. Despite all that happened, you pushed through all that hardship and made this nation what it is today. Ethereus told us that you put the Bainu together to ensure an incident like the revolution would never happen again. A group of both fire and dark fire reincarnations working together to ensure peace in this nation to ensure that an incident like that would never happen again. Your daughter would be proud of that accomplishment. You brought together the two fire clans and brought peace to this country and not war. The circumstances may be different than what you expected, but you still accomplished that goal. You have clearly done a lot of good for your two clans, Philstradomus, and you can teach your group's children that lesson to ensure that the two clans will never go to war against each other again. You have the power to make things right without resorting to this. You can still live on for her sake. You can change the path your ancestors have went down right here. You're right. I have forgotten my original purpose for making that group. I was supposed to bring peace to this nation, but I brought it to despair because I gave up. I became the people my group was created to stop. I... I'm... sorry. Activate. Governor, the magma is receding. The volcano is starting to stabilize again. The volcano will begin to revert back to its dormant state before all of this happened. Thank you, David and Susan, for making me realize the truth. You're welcome. I'm sure your daughter is proud of you for making that decision to stop it. I'm sure she is too. Still, though, I'm surprised you wanted to go about it this way. I would have thought this would have ended in a fight. Like I told Ethereus, I'd like to prevent a fight if I can. Had this failed, I would have fought you, but I wasn't going to give up. And I appreciate that. Because of your perseverance, you made me realize my original purpose of the Bainu again. You two not only saved me, but also this nation. And I cannot thank you enough for that. So what happens now? There will be a long road to recovery for this nation in terms of getting them to trust me. But I accept that. That's good. What the hell? Shit, take cover! Like yummy told you, Phil Stradomus, when you failed, we would strike by any means necessary. Even if it means using a weapon designed by humans to destroy asteroids. Now you face the consequences of your actions. You serve your purpose, and now it's time for us to begin serving ours. The death of a dual human society, and the birth of a society where superhumans tower over humans. The birth of Omega Arcadia. Run by beings who belong at the top of the hierarchy, the reincarnations of the original creators of this world, the Kingdom. Yes, King Indra, we are ready. <laughs>